no, none of these people are financial advisors, and no, none of them have your best interest in mind. Do you ever wonder why all crypto YouTubers say I'm not a financial advisor before dispensing financial advice? It's because they're legally required to. And if they didn't say that, it means that they would have to act in your best interest. Not only would they have to act in your best interest, but they'd have to act in your best interest knowing your financial situation. They'd have to know exactly how much money you had, what your risk tolerance is. They'd have to advise you based on that in a fiduciary capacity. But all crypto YouTubers say I'm not a financial advisor in order to absolve themselves of any responsibility if you do lose money as a result of their what is certainly financial advice. Not only that, but crypto YouTube has basically destroyed people's ability to do research on their own because of affiliate marketing. If you want to know why, then stick around to the end and find out. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel so we can start ranking better than Nate Martin of 99 Bitcoins, who, I don't know if you know this, was the head of the Japanese research unit 731 during World War II. You see what I did there? At the very beginning of the video, I provided what's called a call to action or a CTA as we call it in the biz. It's a quick mental and sales tactic in order to get you to like our video and subscribe to our channel so that we can make use of the first of the three ways to monetize a crypto YouTube channel. And that's basically what I'm gonna cover in this video is there's three ways to make money in crypto YouTube and it's created this unholy trinity of crypto YouTubers who think of their subscribers as nothing more than cash cows to be milked. So please subscribe to the channel and let me milk you. First way to make money on crypto YouTube is monetization, which is how you make money on YouTube generally. In order to run ads before your videos, YouTube requires that you have a thousand subscribers and over 4,000 watch hours. And then once that happens, you can run ads in front of your videos and you get paid for every thousand viewers that watch your video. Now, there's a lot of ways to get monetized. You can make good content. Like I, you know, I, I really enjoy Coin Bureau. I think he puts a lot of work and thoughtful research into a lot of the videos that he produces. Copyzilla is another great example of a, cryptocurrency investigator and general financial investigator who I think puts out really good content, tries really hard, but that money only goes so far. And in crypto YouTube, that's chump change because the real money comes in step two, promotions. See, our channel is not even monetized at the time of taping right now. We're sitting at about 900 subscribers, so we're very close. Let me milk you, but we're not quite there yet. But even as a non-monetized channel, I'm getting dozens of emails every day from random crypto projects that want me to promote their token on my channel for the promise of nothing more than maybe 500 to 1,000 views. Now, almost all these coins are either rug pulls or Ponzi schemes of some sort, but they'll pay me a fucking bag to get you on a decentralized exchange and buy their goddamn token, which I refuse to do because I love you. Please let me milk you. But there's plenty of big YouTubers who have been accused of shilling for specific coins. Just look at that giant sack of shit BitBoy Crypto, who many people have accused of being paid to promote Cardano. Now, I'm not saying that Cardano is a scam, but I'm saying if it was, he would never fucking tell you. And that brings me to the third way to make money on crypto YouTube, and that's affiliate marketing. And I'll be honest. It's why I got in the game. Understanding how to make money on YouTube has a lot to do with understanding YouTube search engine optimization. Now, for instance, I got in because I understood that a lot of people were searching for reviews of Coinbase and Gemini and Binance. And those are all exchanges that I was recommending to people without them paying me. And then I learned that you could be paid for promoting that content. For instance, anytime someone clicks one of the links in the description and signs up for Coinbase or Gemini, I get $10 in Bitcoin. You get $10 in Bitcoin too. Sounds like a pretty fair deal. I was recommending it to people before they started paying me, and now I still recommend it to them after they're paying me. But there's hundreds of affiliate programs for way less reputable services. Whether it's KuCoin or Bybit or Uholder or OneInch or you know any number of DeFi exchanges and centralized exchanges, the affiliate numbers get pretty disgusting pretty fast. For instance, take a look at Celsius. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Celsius. I don't think it's an overt scam, but I do have some problems with the way that they've been communicating with their user base. They, however, pay $50 to both the affiliate marketer and the person who signs up every time someone signs up using their link. I have a couple of videos on Celsius. I don't think it's a great place to hold your money forever, but $50 is pretty nice every time I get it. But the problem is, when I started looking into Celsius, I wanted to do some in-depth research. I wanted to look at the positives and I wanted to look at the negatives, and I think I found some negatives, but boy, was it hard. That's the problem, is this push towards affiliate marketing in cryptocurrency companies means that almost all the content being published about them are glowingly positive. People don't say negative things because people don't click links if you've just talked a bunch of shit about the platform. So all the content that gets produced ends up being very, very positive content, whether it's web content or YouTube content. There's no dissent. There's no people talking about the risks. 
you know, because that's the thing. If I was a financial advisor, I would be legally required to tell you about the risks before I shield any token or investment of any kind, because that's part of the fiduciary responsibility of a financial advisor. So be careful who you trust on crypto YouTube. If you want to learn more about it, click my video here on Ponzi schemes. I'm Crypto Bo. Stay safe out there.